All right, how's everybody doing? Did you have a good new year? Hopefully, hopefully. Quiet around here. We just kind of hung out, watched some movies, you know. But it was good. Nice little break there, I guess. Um, so, we've got just one break tonight, and it's a case of jerseys. We may have an unpaid team available. I'm waiting to hear from the underbidder who indicated they might have some interest, and I was kind of trying to go back and forth and email, uh, and then looked at the time and was like, whoops, it is nine o'clock. <laughs> so, came in here, but so I'm not sure yet if the underbidder is actually going to take that or if we're going to have a team available. So, We'll revisit that shortly. In the meantime, let's go over a little information and get everybody on the same page. Feedback is automated on eBay. Anytime that you leave positive feedback for me, you are instantly going to get positive feedback in return. And of course, the other thing there is to say thank you. Always appreciate you being here. Bidding, breaking, chatting, hanging out with me. Our first break of 2021. How about that? And what else have we got to look at? What's coming up in the days ahead? So tomorrow we have a new release product, which is Elite Extra Edition Baseball. We'll be breaking a half case of that. They are loose boxes from a shared case. And then on Thursday, we've got Heritage High Number by the half case. That's the back half of the case. And then on Friday, we've got Elite Extra Edition again. And I think those are also loose boxes, which I forgot to put in there. So now I did. And then Saturday, Sunday, Monday will all be off nights. So that's how we look there. As far as shipping, this of course is a free shipping break. What that means to you is this, anytime you hit something in a free shipping break, it's going to ship out to you sometime within the next seven days. So sometimes it goes really quickly, sometimes it's towards the middle or more towards the end, but in no case would it ship out later than seven days from today. And if you go hitless in a free shipping break, <clears throat> excuse me, and your team is not the team pulled, then what that means is that you are entitled to a consolation trading card. That's simply a loose used random trading card any year, any series, typically held and sent with your next package on free shipping breaks. But if you want it sent sooner by itself, send me a message on eBay. Let me know that. We'll get you hooked up. Let me check and see where we are payment wise. I know we had one that was unpaid. As I mentioned earlier, we might have had uh, Somebody going to pick that up on a second chance, and I'm not sure about that. So that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. And, oh, it looks like, um, yeah, actually, it, it looks like, oh, man, now our original bidder came and paid for it, and so did our backup bidder in the meantime. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see. Well, Chris, I had actually uh, sent out a second chance since you had not sent it in. So let me see. Uh, Stephanie, are you watching? Do you want do you want it or do you want me to revert it to Chris? So that's where we are right now. So if Stephanie is watching, we'll see what's going on here because Chris, I had given up on you, man. You hadn't, I hadn't responded to emails, hadn't seen it come through. So I did offer it up to the underbidder who did take it and pay for it as well. So Stephanie maybe isn't isn't online at the moment. So, um, well, Chris, what do you want to do? Do you want to keep it or do you want me to roll it off to Stephanie? Because Stephanie doesn't seem to be online. So you both at this point have paid for it. So um, Chris, since you're here, and Stephanie isn't here, I guess. Um, you guys tell me what you want to do. Meanwhile, um, let's go ahead and finish looking through our information. And we're gonna have to we're gonna have to take somebody out of that Baltimore spot here in a moment. So meanwhile, um, let's go back and look at our spreadsheet again. Well, actually, I had you on the spreadsheet, didn't I? I was looking at something else. I left you in the right spot. Moved me onto the other spot. <laughs> All right. So it is a 10 box case of 2020 Leaf Autograph Football jerseys. It's a full case break. It is break number five. It ended tonight on eBay, the same night that we are breaking it, which is Tuesday night, the 5th. And at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, you'll find your team names are on the left hand side and our winning bidders are across from each team there on the opposite side. Of course, we do have the uh, 
little thing here going with Baltimore where I thought it was unpaid, sent the second chance offer, and then actually it ended up paid, and so did the second chance offer. So, Stephanie, I don't know, are you? did you ever log on? If you did, please jump in here and weigh in for me, and if you didn't log in, then uh, we'll make a determination on that in a moment. And the last little bit here, you're going to notice that your background gets blurry. That is intentional. I don't want you to worry about that. It's going to let us see what we need to see. So we're going to get that done. And then I'm going to start getting these out of the case and we'll see if Stephanie is here. Ah, you are here. Okay. So, um, so what do you want to do there, um, Carlos, which I'm saying Stephanie because that's your username on eBay. So it ends up that both you have paid for it and the original bidder came back and paid for it. So since you actually picked it up on second, tell me what you want to do. Carlos, do you want to keep it or do you want me to refund Baltimore and the eBay bidder keep it? Because he said he, he um, understands and can go either way since he knows he paid late. So Carlos, tell me what you want to do. Again, about Baltimore is what we're talking about here. Meanwhile, we're going to get all these out of here and see what's happening. Emory says 2021, LOL. <laughs> I know, I know. It's always the way, isn't it? Carlos, you do want to keep it. You, you personally want to keep it. Okay, then let me do a little change up there on the spreadsheet to reflect that and Chris I'm sorry about that man um, you know usually if if the payment hasn't come in and we're getting close to the wire down to the last uh, four or five minutes I will reach out to the other person since I hadn't heard from you I didn't know what was going on there so I apologize but we have already moved it on he does want to keep it I will refund you okay so i will process a cancellation and refund you on that chris so that's what your spreadsheet looks like now with the update there on baltimore okay so there's our current situation now we've got 10 jerseys to go through and this is how it works emory says double selling is better than COVID 19. well normally i cancel it out right away as soon as i take care of the second chance but as I said, I was going back and forth trying to get it done, then looked at the clock and realized, oh my gosh, it's like nine o'clock and I had to run. So that's how we ended up in that mess. So anyway, that's the deal. And if we pull a collegiate jersey, by the way, current players go to active players, go to current team, retired players, the team they played for the longest. We are starting out with the Eagles, who made a really weird decision in their game, pulling Jalen Hurts the other day. Beckett authenticated by sticker and paper. Deshaun Jackson, Eagles, first out. It was really weird, too, because they had a chance to win. I think they did it on purpose, maybe for draft position, maybe to say kind of F you to the Giants. <laughs> I'm not sure. G Folk is here. I got to get back uh, through here. John is with us as well. And who else is in here? You're looking for Montana and Rice. We got to work on that. And Philly fan is here just doing song lyrics. I love it. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Spice Girls. Mike Singletary is out next. And you've got a Hall of Fame inscription. This one is PSA certified. We can see the sticker down there on the bottom. I don't think I have my camera settings quite right, do I? And there's the PSA paper as well. So the Bears, who miraculously did get into the playoffs with Singletary. All right, Luis needs the Cowboys. Got to get those boys in there. Matthew's looking for Tampa Bay. And Christopher is asking, is that the first box? Uh, the Eagles was first, the Bears second. Yeah, and this comes our third one right now. Nick is looking for Tua and Jordan. Watch Joe Burrow. Meanwhile, what I have is a charger with Kellen Winslow and the Hall of Fame inscription. It is Beckett authenticated by sticker. Ah, there's our paper in the back for the Kellen Winslow jersey. There's the name on it. 
I don't know. My camera angle seems weird tonight, doesn't it? Maybe it's too low. Should we try to, let's try to adjust the tripod. See if that helps us any. I don't know if it will or not, but we'll find out, won't we? See, that's what happens when I don't do breaks for a few days. I set the I set the tripod down, and when I get it back up, it's always in a weird position. And who have we here? I have an Anthony Munoz, and that is a really nice looking signature, isn't it? I kind of dig that. It's really nice penmanship, and that is Beckett authenticated by both sticker and paper. And I don't really know where that goes, got to be honest, I don't. So let's look it up real quickly so that we do know. How about that for a plan? Uh, let's see here. Let's just go to good old NFL.com and let it tell me something. I mean, you would think Bengals based on the colors, but you never know. Um, yes, it was Bengals, all Bengals, 1980 to 1992, all Bengals. Don't remember that guy. I don't know. Look at that. You guys all wrote it in there. A bunch of you. Bengals, 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 Bengals. <laughs> D folk says you have never seen one come out until today. And now there's been two Munoz come out. How about that? It's crazy, isn't it? And John and Jordan and Nick and Jeff all said Bengals. Philly fans funny, said Lakers. <laughs> I know, but I couldn't see the chat because I was off looking it up. I was using the iPad to look it up. Well, the Raiders are in business with Tim Brown. It is Beckett authenticated by both sticker and paper. And uh, the Raiders, Tim Brown. I tell you what I'm gonna do. That's just bugging me. Something's the focus just isn't set quite right on this. I don't know if it's maybe I didn't hit apply a while ago when I changed that or what happened, but we're gonna change it a little bit again. Because that is not really letting us see the COAs and stuff as plainly as I might prefer. Christopher says, how many left? One, two, three, four, five. So we've done five. This is five. We're halfway through. This is number six, I guess, that I'm opening right now, right? Yeah, six. Had to think about that. It's bad, isn't it? <laughs> Somebody asked for two a while ago. Well, here he comes. He is on an Alabama jersey, but nonetheless, you got it. Headed to the Dolphins. And there is your Tua autograph and your Beckett COA. Oh, yeah, we can see that much better now. And your Beckett paper to go along with the sticker. So, Tua and Miami on the signed Alabama jersey. Of course, Alabama had two players nominated tonight for the Heisman, and uh, Devontae uh, wound up winning it. And that's a tongue twister. First wide receiver to get that in a long time, but he knocked it out of the park tonight. Joey Bosa, Chargers. So, this is the second hit for the Chargers. And it is also Beckett authenticated. We've got our sticker there. And, of course, we saw our paper on the other side. So a second hit for Los Angeles Chargers tonight. Emery says you missed my wrist brace. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> I've always got it on that right hand. I just, the carpal tunnel is so bad in it. I can't do anything without that thing on. I guess it's really a combination of that and the RA. Well, Falcons, it's not Dion, but how about Calvin Ridley to get Atlanta on the board here? And it is also Beckett authenticated sticker and paper alike for Calvin Ridley and the Atlanta Falcons. Two left. We got eight down, two to go. Two, two more. Oh, come on now. Looks like it's going to be signed possibly on a collegiate jersey unless it's a brown, which it is. It's Baker Mayfield. Nice. Oh, this is a good case, isn't it? <laughs> All right. There's your Baker Mayfield there in the playoffs for the first time in, I don't know, like 20 years or more. So Beckett authenticated by sticker and paper for the Baker Mayfield Cleveland Browns jersey. Of course, they got to play us or we have to play them. I don't know. 
we have to play each other, but I guess my point is I'm not sure who's going to have the advantage at this point. At least some of my Steelers uh, got rested during this last game, so I do have that going for me. But And I think the Browns are getting hit with COVID again, so that's not great for them. Chargers, holy crap, Chargers. This is your third hit out of this case, and the best one yet, a Justin Herbert on his uh, collegiate jersey, but of course going to the Chargers, and it is Beckett Authenticated sticker and paper and the chargers just turned around and crushed this break crushed it all right so let's um recap this all right may as well start with the one we just looked at since it's handy here i can't imagine that he won't be uh your rookie of the year and that is justin herbert on a collegiate jersey headed to the chargers so this is really a very good case in general. It's our last one, too, so save the best for last, I guess. Baker Mayfield out on a Cleveland Browns jersey. Don't see those very often, so nice hit there as well. The Atlanta Falcons bringing us Calvin Ridley headed your way. The Chargers with hit number two out of this case getting you Joey Bosa, another guy you don't see a whole lot of Beckett authenticated sticker and paper. The Dolphins are happy because, well, heck, they hit Tua. So, yeah, the Dolphins are happy with the Tua Tagovailoa. Of course, again, signed on his collegiate jersey, but going to his current team, the Miami Dolphins. Tim Brown makes an appearance for the Raiders. Beckett authenticated both sticker and paper. And then the Bengals. The Bengals got involved, and I couldn't remember that he was a Bengal, but we, you know, found out that he is. <laughs> that is, most of you knew it. Somehow I must have been asleep that decade. It is Anthony Munoz, and also Beckett authenticated by both sticker and paper. So Bengals and Browns both got one. Not too shabby for Ohio tonight. And we don't want to leave out the Eagles. The Philadelphia Eagles hit a Deshaun Jackson Beckett authenticated sticker and paper. And then the Chargers with their third hit, unbelievably enough. Three out of ten going to the Chargers. That's crazy. Kellen Winslow, Hall of Fame inscription. Beckett authenticated by sticker and paper. Chargers cleaned up. And last but certainly not least... For the Browns, the Bears, let's try that again. For the Bears, <laughs> Hall of Fame inscription, it is PSA authenticated. Don't see those as much by sticker and paper. And it's headed to Chicago with Mike Singletary. All right, so there we go. We are all set there. And um, yeah, and I will take care of uh, Chris. I will get back. I will take care of canceling that for you. As soon as I finish up here, I will log into PayPal. I mean, it'll just take me a couple minutes. I'll finish up here and then log in there and I will get you refunded for that. Sorry about that, man. I mean, that's just usually when they're not paid uh, on, you know, by the payment time. And, and I haven't heard from somebody in email a lot of times. Oh, they end up not, you know, coming through. I know you did, but uh, timing wise, sorry. All right, guys. So. Real quickly, once again, if you missed it before, we'll take one more look at what's coming up in the days ahead, and we'll talk about shipping again. So tomorrow, we have one new release product. It is Elite Extra Edition Baseball, and that is a half case break. They are loose boxes from a shared case, new release product, and we'll break it tomorrow night. On Thursday, we're going to do the back half of a case of Heritage High Number that we started last week. On Friday, we'll break Elite Extra Edition half case again. It will also be loose boxes from a shared case. Saturday, Sunday, Monday will all be off night. So that's how that is looking. And then here's how we are coming up in the days ahead. No, here's what we're doing about shipping. I did them out of order and see how autopilot I am. <laughs> shipping, if you hit one of these jerseys, you're going to see it go out the door and on the way to you. Uh, no later than seven days from today. It will probably go sooner than that, but it wouldn't go later than that. Free shipping stuff's always just projected within a seven-day period. And if you didn't hit in this, you are due consolation cards, okay? 
And the constellation cards are just loose random cards for your team, can be from any year, any series. Typically held to send with your next package on a free shipping break, but can be sent sooner by itself if you just send me a little message and let me know. All right. Jeff, you said, when am I going to be getting more of these jerseys? I don't think I am. I am out of them. This is my last case of them, and I don't know that my distributors have any more. So we may be waiting for the next release of TriStar Game Day Greats jerseys, which will be, oh, it can't be too far off because I've done the pre-order for them already. So I don't know. I'll have to check with my distributors and see if anybody has any, but I kind of don't think they do because I looked at that before the holidays and they didn't. So, uh oh. Chris says he's glad it worked out that there was no Baltimore. <laughs> well, it did work out, I guess, in your favor that time. So, all right. So that's it for me tonight. It was quick, right? I know, I know. But anyway, thanks, everyone. I appreciate you very much. I hope that you are going to have a good week ahead. Come back and see me tomorrow, maybe Elite Extra Edition if you're into baseball. We're baseball the rest of the week, aren't we? Yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We'll try to get some football in next week. How about that? All right. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again. Bye now.